Turning now to the summer games and the role COVID is playing in Paris. American Noah Lyles settling for bronze in the 200 meter sprint, then revealing he tested positive for the virus. Janae Norman is in Paris with more. Janae, this was a real stunner. Good morning. It really was, Wick. Good morning to you. This is really the beginning of a nerve-wracking run for Americans. Quite literally, Noah Lyles, after just inching out first in the 100-meter race, was looking for the sprint double gold in the 200 meters. But after the race, instead of seeing him triumphant, we saw him being treated by medical staff. And then that heart-pounding near upset of a basketball game. A dramatic night on the track. Sprint superstar Noah Lyles favored to win the men's 200 meters, coming up short in third place for the bronze. After the race, medical staff racing to a clearly winded Lyles, taking him off the track in a wheelchair. Moments later, a surprise announcement from the 27-year-old who was seen wearing a mask just before the race, announcing he'd tested positive for COVID after falling ill on Tuesday, two days before the race. Overnight, Lyles, who was expected to compete today in the men's 4x100 meter relay, taking to Instagram to address his future at this year's Olympic Games, writing, I believe this will be the end of my 2024 Olympics. Whether you were rooting for me or against me, you have to admit you watched, didn't you? See you next time. In a statement, USA Track and Field stood by Lyles' decision to compete, saying they had adhered to the guidelines set by U.S. Olympic Committee, the Centers for Disease Control, and the IOC to prioritize his health, the well-being of our team, and the safety of fellow competitors. Lyles' teammate, Kenny Bednarik, who took home the silver, appeared to agree with the decision to let him compete. I don't think I was put at risk at all. I mean, I take care of my body. Um, so when it comes to getting sick, that's uh, rare for me. So, I mean, when I found out it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I mean, he went out there, did his best. Letso Tobago from Botswana, who won the gold and was seen embracing Lyles after the race, was asked if he had overtaken the American as the new face of track and field. For me, I can't be the, the face of athletics because uh, I'm not a uh, an arrogant or a loud person like Noah. All day long, Team USA raking in medals. Tara Davis Woodhall and Jasmine Moore getting gold and bronze in the long jump. Davis Woodhall rushing to celebrate her gold with her husband Hunter, who's competing in the Paralympics later this month. And Sydney McLaughlin Leveron smoking the competition to win gold in the women's 400 meter hurdles. USA's Anna Cockrell not far behind clinching the silver. And in men's basketball, Team USA surviving a huge scare from Serbia. Serbia leading the U.S. by double digits in the fourth quarter until the red, white, and blue superstars took over. Steph Curry scoring 36 points, including this shot with just over two minutes to go. LeBron James making a key layup and Kevin Durant hitting two down the stretch. Thank goodness they pulled it out. And worth noting history on the track today, the youngest male U.S. track athlete ever, Quincy Wilson, made his Olympic debut today in the men's 4x400 relay. He and his teammates will race for the medal tomorrow. And for the women in that 400 meters hurdle, Cindy McLaughlin, Levron, and Anna Cockrell, I saw her family out shopping yesterday and said, look, if she medals, I will mention Anna Cockrell. And then our next hour, we're talking about the American women <laughs> dominating here in Paris. Love that. Lived up to that promise. So many great Cinderella Absolutely. stories. Thank you, Janae.